consideration. The Emmy nominee as the outstanding television movie of the year. It's been us, Chip and Dale, the whole time. This award season. You're the talk of the town. Leave the top hat and cane in the car, please. Whoa, how did you know that? Because you're you. Consider a comeback. I am a huge fan. With the funniest movie of the year. Somebody call Guinness, Guinness Book. Chase, you owe me a non-brand specific cola. cola. What? That was crazy. Disney's Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Now streaming only on Disney+. Plus. Ready PGA. Parental guidance suggested. Empire. Who knew the power of tart cherry juice? You know, we have a very compact season, especially as NBA athletes. We're having, you know, we have a back-to-back game. We have a game today and a game tomorrow as well. And so stuff like that where things like recovery are so, so important for us. And we only have, like I said prior, we only have, you know, a select amount of time to play this sport. That's Michaela Onyewera of the New York Liberty, who swears by it. This is the Future Sport Podcast. I'm Bram Weinstein. We have profiled a lot of products on this show through the years, and this is one that has existed but hasn't broken through to mainstream athletics. But Tartary Juice is now gaining followers amongst the elite of sports, so we decided to hear that story. Our guests this week are the 2021 WNBA Rookie of the Year of the New York Liberty, Michaela Onyewere, and Rob Wiley, who is the CMO of Cherry Bundy, which is a company that is in sports nutrition and fitness and using tart cherry juice, which a number of athletes like Michaela swear by. Hi to both of you. Thanks for joining us. Hi, thank you so much for having us. Uh, Rob, let me start with you. Um, how did this happen? What did, what did you find out about this product and, and why are you making it? That's an interesting place to start. Uh, I found out about tart cherry juice actually when um, I'm an operating partner in Emil Capital. And Emil Capital is the uh, lead investor of Chair Bundy. And they brought me into the company about three years ago to bring tart cherry juice and cherry bundy to the masses. And I'll be honest with you, that's when I was introduced. To um, and I think much like many tart cherry juice uh, fans, they were introduced actually through either through their doctor or through other people had used the products for primarily for anti-inflammation. And through my whole sort of onboarding into the company, I quickly realized that the sort of secret weapon of this company is not only its sort of super proof benefits around antioxidants, and anti-inflammation, but also that we had this massive roster of athletes and teams who use the product every day, who were also introduced to the product mostly through registered dietitians on their team. Huh. So there was this sort of like, secret that was going along in the sports industry that mainstream consumers hadn't heard about and many still today haven't heard about that athletes like Michaela were taking for anti-inflammation and recovery post-practice every day, every month that were buying it from Chair Bundy. And so that's how I actually came to the company. That's how I met Michaela was that uh, she was brought to us as someone who loved our product and someone that I thought would be a really great person to work with. So, um, you know, curtain up, I've covered professional sports for 25 years. I'm the voice of a professional football team. And I was intrigued when you all reached out to talk about this because I hadn't heard much about this. And it's unusual that something flies under the radar. That's something that's being used widely by professional athletes. Um, Michaela, how, how did you find this and, and what does it do for you? Yeah, so um, I had an experience where I went to UCLA and, you know, really, really high elite program. And we were able to be introduced to this product where I was drinking it daily um, for sleep, for recovery. Um, my coach really, really just emphasized how good it was and what the benefits were. And my, my nutritionist at the time, Jessica Isaac, um, she also was involved with Cherry Bundy as well. But she was really, really pushing for us to use it. And because the benefits are just so much for us. And so whether that's sleep, that's recovery, it's inflammation. At that time, we were going daily, you know, three-hour practices. And so we needed that recovery process and that recovery period. And that was so vital to just what we did every single day. And so I've been using Cherry Bundy since probably 2017. 
Um, so it's no secret to me. Um, I can't believe people are, you know, just finding out about it because it's been done so much from, you know, my career in basketball and I will continue to keep using it. All right, Rob. So why, why has it been a secret then? I mean, here's high level athletes <laughs> that have been using this for five years and I'm not going to blame a pandemic for the message not getting out. Like what, what's, what's been going on? That's a great question. You sound like an investor that it's like, <laughs> why doesn't everyone know about this? Uh, and frankly, I see about with my job that everyone does. So I'm hopefully we're going to overcome that. Um, so when we started the company, you know, the company is sort of like uh, a 20 year overnight success, to be real. Like we've been around almost 20 years. The company was founded at Cornell University. It has proprietary science. We have the most, the strongest, the best tartary juice on the market. But in doing so, we sort of grow, we grew very organically for the first 10 years of the company. And then as we started to build this roster of teams, we realized, you know, quote unquote, we had established product market fit. And that's where we really wanted to grow the business, with which we call, you know, high performance athletes, collegiate and professional teams. We have nearly 400 teams every day to buy this product from us. So as we grew that roster, that was the primary area that we felt like was a natural fit, no pun intended. And then as we established such a big roster of teams, we realized also everyday athletes, amateur athletes, people who play club sports, people who work out, Peloton, you know, fans, they also could use the benefits of this product in a way that we designed it to be easily consumable on a daily basis. And so that is what we is now our mission in front of us, is to work with players like Michaela and Debo, Samuel, and Lindsay Oron to establish that like, hey, actually, they took this product far before we paid them to do so, far before they invested in the company. Now we just use them as shining examples. And that is our way forward. That is something I'm sure, Bram, you see all the time in yeah. sort of specifically sports nutrition companies, but other companies that operate in the business of sports is they work with athletes. We've chosen to do so in a way that we believe, you know, isn't just about paying athletes to be spokespeople. We've done it in a way that these people are big fans of our product far before we, we decided to work with them officially. And now we're just letting them tell their story. Michaela, you're, you're putting your name on this, obviously. I'm sure a, a lot of people have come to you with a lot of different things through the years. Why does this work for you? I think, like you said, there's a, like a few other products you know, that kind of are, are very vital in recovery. But I think for me, Cherry Bundy, you know, it's an all-natural kind of um, drink that I'm able to use. And like I said, I've had the experience using it since I was 17 years old. You know, I'm 22 years old right now. And it's been a very vital kind of in- ingredient in my recovery. And so it's very all natural. It's important for me to feel my body in that way and recover with this product. And so I feel like, you know, Cherry Bunny is going towards like an all holistic kind of approach. I think as an athlete, that's so important because we only have so many years to play this sport. And you want to be the best, you know, in, in your body shape, the body just recovery. And so in order for to do that, you have to put great things in your body. And I think Cherry Bunny does a great job of just um, amplifying that and using that for athletes. And so, like I said, I've used it for so long that it's become good to me. You know, you brought up, both of you brought up one aspect of it that I want to ask you about, Michaela, specifically, which is sleeping. Um, obviously, you're a professional athlete. Your muscles are going to get sore. You're going to have inflammation, all those type of things with being a professional athlete. I don't think of sleep as a problem for them, but but maybe it is. Um, did you have an issue with sleep? And is this helping with that? In college, I actually did. I was like, you guys, like I'm having trouble sleeping. Um, like I, I didn't really know what to do. You know, you know that you take the you know the typical melatonin or whatever it may be, but I wanted something that also had other benefits as well. So that's when I was really introduced to Trey Bundy, and it was is easy. It really tastes good. I can drink it in like five gulps. So I was like, this is great. And I was so I'd be drinking it right before sleep, and you know after a really long day of training, and I was finding myself like, okay, I'm sleeping a lot better now. So I was drinking it daily like it was a part of my daily nightly routine um so for me i think i'm a testament that it, it works for me um it gives me those benefits and it's just helped even you know through my professional career, career as well all right you're using the word tart what's it taste like i think it tastes good it doesn't have like a little bit of a sour taste you know i don't actually drink eat cherries but yeah. i love cherry juice and you know i know it's kind of up and down how people feel about the taste but i feel like for me i actually like how it tastes a lot so it is a little tart, a little sour, a little sweet. And there are different kind of ones that there's like the tart with the apple juice. Um, there's just with the cherry juice. There are, there are a few different kind of variations of the cherry bunny juice that you can kind of pick and choose and find which one you like the best. Rob, how is this disseminated? Is it is it like a five-hour energy shot? Is it a is it a, 
a bigger drink? Like how do you, how do you serve it? Yeah. So it's served, uh, scientifically you're supposed to take eight ounces a day, right? You have the actual tart cherry juice form. So we have an eight ounce bottle is our primary product that you can order in eight ounces. We also have a 32 ounce product. If you're looking to sort of pantry load or keep it in your fridge for an extended period of time. We also have a concentrate, which is two and a half ounces, which is a shot. So we have three different formats. And as Michaela mentioned, in a couple different, you know, formulations that have slightly different taste profiles, our most popular product is what we call pure, which is 100% tart cherry juice. And that comes in all, any of those or all of those formats. And then if you're looking at something that's a little sweeter, we have original, which has apple juice. We have light, which has a few less calories and also has stevia in it. So it has a little bit more of a sweet factor. So there's, there's almost, you know, a different product for everyone that's looking for a different sort of taste. But also we have a sleep product, which Michaela mentioned. It's a really popular product for us. It is a product that you definitely take before bedtime as someone who has been like, oh, I'll just take it a couple hours before bed. <laughs> it's not a good idea if you want to enjoy your eating because it really does induce sleep. Um, and we find that whether you're, you know, we say whether you work or work out all day, yeah. a lot of different people, athletes and everyday sort of consumers do struggle with sleep. I think whether it just be from, you know, irregular sleep patterns or anxiety, sleep is a really big factor and benefit that people are looking for. So, um, you know, we do have a variety of products. I personally take eight ounces a day. So I drink the juice uh, and I do it directly after I work out. I'm kind of the typical COVID cliche, which I you know, just rediscovered the gym during COVID and um, have maintained that habit at this point. But yeah. uh, it's also, you know, Chair Bundy has been now a, a huge factor, not only in my sort of daily routine, but I think in the, in, in, we've seen clearly coming out of COVID, you know, change behaviors around fitness, around people being committed to being active. We are also in 20,000 stores nationwide. So you can get at any grocery store basically on the corner. It's available on Amazon. It's also available through charabundy.com. So all of these channels we've actually kind of put in motion in yeah. the past three years while I've joined the company. And we've seen people wanting to try us, you know, online and offline. It's been, it's been a really good three years. We have to, we have to say that. And I think Michaela is just such a great shining example as to one of those reasons why. What's interesting about listening to this is like, I'm interested. I'm interested in hearing how you're pitching this. We're talking to you because this is big time sports, and we're talking to groups that are in this kind of realm. And clearly, you have found something that works for a number of high level athletes and teams. What we're talking about now too is trying to get the message out to the masses. I'm trying to picture where is this on a shelf? Is it next to Palm because that's an acquired taste drink as well? Is this in a fitness aisle because you're trying to market it to? run-of-the-mill athletes like myself as as opposed to just big-time professional athletes? Like, how are you looking at getting the word out about getting this to the masses? Yeah, it's a, actually, it's a really good question because it's one of the questions that I faced early on, which is when they were like, hey, you know, take Cherry Bundy mainstream. I was like, Cherry who? <laughs> and then I went into a store and was like, where is this thing? Like, I've never heard of tart cherry juice. And so I had this same sort of journey about, like, trying to find it in a store and read about it online. And the reality was like, Tara Bundy at that point was in the juice aisle. So we were next to tomato juice, apple juice, orange juice in 32 ounce bottles, right? And it's kind of a misfit, frankly, in that aisle because although those products have some medicinal benefits or they have vitamin C and other sorts of supplements in them, those are generally high sugar products that are made from concentrate. And I look at our product, I'm like, we don't have this ingredient for a whole file. Most of our, our, most of our products are all not from concentrate. They are 100% juice. And you think about it and you're like, okay, where should we be? And the truth is, over the past three years, we have shifted from the juice aisle. You can find it what they call in the sports drink aisle, which think about body armor, Gatorade, yeah. muscle milk. And then also you see the advent of a bunch of other hydration products like Noon, right? And so that part of the store actually is one of the highest growth parts of all of retail. It's called sports nutrition or sports supplements. It's gone mainstream. Many of us take these products every day, whether it be for electrolytes or for hydration or for recovery. And so that is where you find us. Long answer to your short question in the store today is you will start to meet us more and more in retail in the sports drink part of the store. 
And that is where we believe, you know, the mainstream consumer who is working out consistently, like all three of us on this call do, uh, is looking to find new products. They're looking to try things that are going to help them perform better, recover better, sleep better, and stay hydrated, frankly. And so that is the, the arena that we look to play in on a consistent basis. And frankly, that is exactly how registered dietitians from our teams frame our product, right? Our product lives as part of holistic health. It is part of a routine that every one of our athletes, Michaela included, consumes on a daily basis. But we know we are part of a routine. We call it your ritual. And that ritual is pre, during, and post workout. All of us have those routines, right? Whether you play, you know, in Brooklyn for the Liberty a couple nights a week, or you just are working out at home, we all have these sorts of uh, like regular sort of behaviors that sports products do live in. And we all have figured out that ingredients matter, right? And so as we look to power our bodies, obviously stay healthy, those things, our product lives naturally in that set of the store and it lives naturally in your daily behavior. Michaela, let me ask you just uh, just a broad the modern athlete question about how you take care of your body and how you work with your team as you take care of your body. I'm sure they want to know everything that's going in and out of, of your daily routine. How do you kind of think through the modern athlete and maintaining your athleticism within the context of being on board with how the Liberty may want to see your diet? Um, with the Liberty, um, they're kind of, they give us the resources to do well um, as far as what we eat off the court, what we're consuming and stuff like that. They kind of give us the freedom to do so. So we're able to, you know, come in and have breakfast, breakfast that's sourced by nutritionists. Um, and that's, you know, oatmeal, that's, that's bagels, that's whatever we may need. And then after we always have catered food, that kind of fits in with, okay, you eat your protein, your carbs, whatever else. And then everything else is pretty much what we want to do and kind of the free, have the freedom to do so. And so that's, having protein after practice, having a cherry bunny. We actually do have, are one of the organizations that do have cherry bunny in our fridges. And so if I don't have the supply that I am sent, you know, every few weeks, I do have that as well. And so I think as athletes, it's so important. You know, we have a very compact season, especially as NBA athletes. We're having, you know, we have a back-to-back game. We have a game today and a game tomorrow as well. And so stuff like that where things like recovery are so, so important for us. And we only have, like I said prior, we only have, you know, a select amount of time to play this sport and so as a modern athlete like you need to be able to sustain your body in the best way possible so putting products in your body like cherry bundy or managing how much water you eat or whatever you whatever you um are choosing to eat is so so important and so i feel you know the new york liberty does a good job of regulating as far as what we eat and the different options but as far as the protein or whatever else that's kind of more freedom based but i think it's also important to just being successful as an athlete now I mean, you've lived, so you probably don't know any different because you've lived in an information age. It, it's not that long ago that athletes were probably directed much more with what would go in and out of their body or what the right diet would be for them. But I guess you've probably never really lived that. You've had kind of an open source era. So you've what done your own research for what, since you were a young athlete, correct? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we had, we had that knowledge where people were, you know, teaching us, we had nutritionists and this is what you should eat and this is what an athlete's t- plate may look like and whatever else. But a lot of it has been the freedom of, okay, this is the, the guy we're going to give you and here you are able to make the freedom of how you're going to make that athlete's plate or what you're going to put into your body and things like that. Um, so I've had kind of a good background knowledge of what I should be eating since college pretty much and I've used that for sure my professional career as well, but I also have nutritionists here who help us out, guide us for what we should be eating or what we shouldn't be eating or whatever it may be. All right, Rob, last thing. Um, What do you say to the, like myself, the average athletes who might want to incorporate something like this into their regimen? You know, it's such an interesting time, not only in sports nutrition, I think in, in the business of sports as well, because so much of this, to your point with Michaela, has gone, you call it open source, I call it, you know, mainstream right? We're much more savvy as consumers than we've ever been before. I think Michaela's sort of on the leading edge of that. Teams obviously have brought this conversation much further forward with their athletes and how to take care of their bodies, given the investments that they have, and given how physically demanding sports and travel, frankly, within their lives has become. I, I think a lot of that is relevant to mainstream consumers. And, and frankly, as more of us 
you know, become far more aware of what we're putting in our bodies on a daily basis. You know, whether it be because of the trends around food as medicine, because of like the conversation around just all natural products in general, all of those things are sort of in our universe. And what I say to regular consumers who are thinking about how to recover better, faster every day is that tart cherry juice is a really simple way to augment your daily routine in a way that I believe and is scientifically proven to simply just help you feel a little bit better every day. And eight ounces of tart cherry juice feel like a really simple solution versus I think a lot of the other things out there that are demanding or change your sort of regular behaviors. And so for me, this is all about keeping it simple. And tart cherry juice is one of those easy answers that uh, I know, frankly, works and is, is something that I think uh, everyday athletes would really benefit from. Michaela Onyedwere is the 2021 first-round pick of the New York Liberty, and Rob Wiley is the CMO of Cherry Bundy. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. That will do it for this episode. As always, the future is now. This is the Future Sport Podcast. I'm Bram Weinstein.